So now let's do an example using the Morse circle to determine the maximum in-plane shear stress. So we're told here that using the Morse circle drawn below, the maximum in-plane shear stress in KSI is most nearly what? So what's happening here is they give us a Morse circle and our original stress conditions are graphed using this Morse circle. So we know here we have one point here and another point here. So this one will have a corresponding sigma x the stress the normal stress and tau xy so this 40 is our sigma x this is tau xy and here this is the other point this is sigma y and this is still tau xy and we know here the end goal is to find the maximum in plane shear stress and pick an answer in ksi so we know that the maximum in plane shear stress tau n will simply equal to the radius of the Morse circle. This is also denoted in the handbook. It says the maximum in-plane shear stress is tau n, which is the shear stress, the maximum is the radius of that Morse circle. So we know we have to find this radius. And specifically, we know that if we start at this line here, based on original stress conditions, we would rotate this way, which is going to be counterclockwise in this specific example, two phi then we would have to rotate 45 degrees to get to the maximum in plane shear stress so we know this is 45 degrees right and this is going to be two phi so on our original stress element which is just the regular coordinate system always remember it's going to be half of this so it's going to be just phi plus the half of 45 degrees but here on the Morse circle, we would rotate 2 phi counterclockwise, then we would rotate 45 degrees to get to the maximum in-plane shear stress, tau max. And this would equal to the radius of this Morse circle. So how do we find the radius? What we're going to do first is essentially find the center. Because we know we need the center in order to find the radius. So I'm going to find the coordinates for the center of the Morse circle first. So this is step number one, is to find the center, because we're going to determine the radius graphically and visually by using the Morse circle. So the center can be determined by taking the average. So essentially what we can do to find the center is take sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2. And this is also denoted in the handbook as an equation for the center of the circle, of the Morse circle. So we know the center is going to equal to sigma x which is 40 it's going to be this value this is our sigma x plus sigma y sigma y is always this value so it's going to be negative 20 keep that negative divided by 2 now we can find the center and for that we get 10 ksi so we know this is going to be 10 ksi in the x direction from the origin of our coordinate here so this is the origin and we move to the right 10 ksi 10 ksi to the right on the sigma axis strictly in the x so we know the coordinates for the center is going to be 10 in the x and 0 in the y just remember the center will have coordinates of 10 ksi and 0 in the y we do not move up and down right so that's the coordinates for the center after doing that, we can now determine the radius. So now we can determine the radius, which is what we want to find, the maximum in-plane shear stress. So the radius here will denote as, in blue, I'm going to use this. So you can either use this radius, but what we're going to do is find this radius here. I'm going to find the radius, and we're doing this visually using the Morse circle. And what we're going to do is do the Pythagorean theorem essentially to find the hypotenuse here so we're finding r we have the point here we have the point for the center the coordinates are 10 comma 0 and the coordinates for this point is going to be the 40 15 so to find the radius r it's going to equal to the square root of our coordinates the change in the x squared plus the change in the y squared so we take x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 
squared. So we know that this is the change in the x, so I'm going to, based on the coordinates from, again, the center and this point, because we're looking at this line, just the radius, right? You can either do this radius or this, it's the same. So we're finding the radius here. We, change, we take the change in the x coordinates. So this is the x coordinate, x final minus x initial. So this is x final minus x initial. So it's 40 minus 10. So we do here, this equals to the square root of 40 minus 10 squared. Now the change in the y, what is that? You take y final, which is 15, minus y initial for the center, which is 0. So we take 15 minus 0, and don't forget to square that. 15 minus 0 squared. Now we can solve for r, and we get 33.54 KSI. So this is our answer, and this is the maximum in plane shear stress. So it should be D. And that's it. Thank you.